Hey everyone, welcome to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But now let's get right in today's topic, which is regarding none other than Pepe. We're going to be analyzing the charts to see what is happening and where we could see the price of Pepe going in the immediate short term. So as of June, 27th 2023 you guys can see the price of pepe is up 6.6 percent over the last 24 hours in usd comparative we're also up five percent in both bitcoin and ethereum comparatives over the last 24 hours looking at the price currently sitting at 162 still about five zeros in front of the price uh, but let's look at its market cap it's approaching that 700 million dollar mark once again and we're going to be discussing whether or not we could see pepe hitting a new monthly high in the immediate short term and obviously the 24-hour trading volume currently sitting at $190 million. But before we jump into this analysis, just a quick disclaimer as always that anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. So look at the following count 335,000 but let's forget about that let's look at the holder count guys you know just over the past five minutes we have gone above the 125,000 holder mark which is massive you can see the holder count is increasing as days go by you know new holders coming in left and right you know it's hitting an all-time high after all-time high in holders and that really shows um, you know the overall power pepe really has as of now within the crypto space and this is something we've been talking about over the past two months and it's not a surprise to me uh you know when i do see this happen uh, but also if this does not tell you look at google trends you know google trends really gives us an understanding as to how many searches are happening about a certain subject and you know if we're looking at pepe coin over the past seven days you can see an uptick occurring and obviously that is quite normal that is going to happen because we have seen pepe literally do a 2x over the past week and a half so obviously that is going to attract new investors coming in so great thing uh, over here as well but now you guys know what time it is it's time for the price see what is happening and where we could be going in the immediate short term so looking at the price guys you know first thing i see right after i look at this is beauty and you know even the word beautiful is an understatement because you know, the way Pepe has really shown its support and how it's held around the support speaks that, you know, the momentum is getting stronger and stronger as days go by. You can see this for yourself insane amount of support building up and we have seen a beautiful bounce um you know from yesterday a price obviously bitcoin has seen a little bit of a move towards the upset potentially could hit a new yearly high in the next few hours if we look at bitcoin's price in order for bitcoin to hit a new yearly high that's a move of about 3.1 percent and that could obviously push the price of pepe to new monthly highs uh, but look at this if you picked up some pepe yesterday you are up right now about 7.7 percent and look where pepe is coming you know we are seeing some resistance coming up on our end and you know if it really pushes past this resistance in the next few hours be prepared for the price of pepe to hit a new monthly high very very soon let me draw that out for you guys so basically in order for us to hit a new monthly high it was a move of about another 10 percent and that could happen sooner than a lot of people think right now because btc is very close to hitting a new yearly high so Bitcoin is hitting a new yearly high. Pepe could be hitting a new monthly high. And obviously, if we crack past this level of resistance, as I've mentioned to you guys, you know, main target that we're aiming for is that, um, you know, 2064 cents mark, which again is still, if I bring out the tool, you can see it's a 28% move towards the upside and starting to look more likely than ever. And obviously, if the price were to crack past that level of resistance, that's where I think FOMO will kick in. And I do believe believe a lot of uh you know new money could come in and we could be approaching that 130,000 holder count sooner than um you know uh, a lot of people are expecting so things are looking really really good for pepe right now like i can't uh make this up right now and also look at the resistance we're facing you can see this for yourself this resistance is in minor and that's where we're currently sitting at if it you know pushes past that next target could be that 1906 cents mark that could be the next target in the books right now for Pepe. And like I said, that is a move of roughly about 18 uh, to 19% from the current price level. So, you know, 
things are looking great and people are saying that obviously uh, you know Shiba Inu has utility and um, all that stuff and you know some people are coming in saying that you know Pepe will never never reach Shiba Inu's prices but I think Pepe has what it takes to shock a lot of people I think that it has a lot and it has already shocked a lot of people just from the June 15th prices. You can see this for yourself around here, literally around here, this zone, no one wanted to touch Pepe. I'm sure if you guys can go watch my videos around this range, you could see even by the comment section, a lot of people are saying, no, I don't want to touch it. But there were uh, some people that were like, you know, this is a great opportunity I'm accumulating right now. I could see Pepe way higher. And those are the people that are enjoying these gains right now. So that really shows you, uh, you know, the importance of the three rules I always teach. Always do your own due diligence and research, which is step one. Number two rule is um, always invest what you can afford to lose. And number Number three is obviously patience and the people that were patients around here and that were picking up the bloodbath guess what they're doing right now they're smiling they're enjoying the gains and this should be a learning lesson for a lot of people because this is cryptocurrency you know we will see fluctuations like this not every time it's going to be great price movements where we just see you know gains after gains except obviously when the parabolic season starts which should be starting after the bitcoin happening but other than that you know there are times where things can get a little iffy a little scary but that's where you do not want to get be you, you do not want to be getting shaken out in that time if you uh, want to be dollar cost averaging in that's a great time to dollar cost average and not only that there's a time to be making a strategy for yourself you know where am i going to be locking certain profits uh you know where am i okay to lock certain profits that what's that's what you guys should be doing right now if you guys don't Sorry, if you guys don't have an exit strategy in place right now, I would strongly suggest that should be your number one thing that you should be doing right now. Like have an exit strategy where you feel comfortable locking in profits and, um, you know, where you are not going to be getting greedy. Because le let me tell you, when the extreme parabolic cycle comes, greed can get to your brain really easily. And that's the last thing you want to be doing because you will be left behind you will be left behind if you go in with that mentality so right now make an exit strategy for yourself and follow it and literally stamp it in front of your uh, you know board or your computer and you want to be mentally prepared for that uh, because that is really really important and i cannot stress this enough but of course right now in the immediate short term things are looking mega insane right now to say the least but of course, I will keep you guys updated if anything were to happen. But like I said, next target I'm, I'm aiming for, if we are to do, hit a new yearly high, I'm sorry, new monthly high, the next target would be is that 1909 cents mark. And of course, after that would be that 2078 cents mark where I am expecting a rejection to occur for the immediate short term before we do pop out. But that is it for today's update. Love you all. See you tomorrow. Been Crypto ZX and peace out.